galvanism. What is it, and why is it important? Ever heard of a guy named Luigi Galvani? No? Well, this Italian physician, who lived during the mid-1700s, is known for coming up with this concept after experiencing a dead frog's leg twitch after he touched a scalpel to its sciatic nerve during an unrelated study. Galvanism, in short, is the idea that chemical action, such as muscle movement, can stem from electricity. As Mr. Galvani continued the test after his discovery using the dead frog, he came up with something called the animal electricity theory in 1971, which basically states that the body contains an electrical fluid that is carried to the muscles by the nerves, resulting in muscle stimulation and eventually sharp, uncontrolled muscle movements. To demonstrate, a deceased frog corpse is laid out on a lab table. Conductive wires are being attached to the spine. Then, electrodes are stimulating the nerves of this poor dead froggy using electricity, and as a result, the muscles twitch and spasm even after death. Another physicist, Alessandro Volta, continued his experiments. He said that animal fluid could not conduct electricity. It needed metal. He did a series of experiments, and ultimately, with copper and zinc, he made the first battery. Volta argued that animal energy was not real, but was powered by the metals. Galvani then did several further experiments with the animal muscles alone, proving that they didn't need metal. But no one in that time believed him. Mary Shelley, the author of Frankenstein, explored the concept of galvanism in her work. Mary Shelley knew of Galvani and Volta's experiments even before her novel Inspiring Dream, as they were friends of her father. It is safe to assume that the knowledge of their experiments, combined with her vivid imagination, is what led to the creation of Frankenstein's monster. The concept of galvanism can be witnessed in the creature's awakening, when a bolt of lightning is used to reanimate the corpse of compiled human remains. Now, in modern times, the study is called electrophysiology the study of electrical properties of cells and organisms. Thanks for watching.